All right, what is going on guys? So it's been a little while since I made a 101 video and today it's gonna to be all about Thing. Now this is gonna be an offensive guide. So we're not gonna be talking about how to fight Thing as a defender. Uh, really just how to play him offensively because when Thing first came out, I really just thought, you know, he was just gonna be a defender. And boy was I wrong. He is so crazy on attack, man. And he's not just, pretty much the only thing gameplay i see really is when he's doing insane damage with all his synergies and he's doing like 20k hits and that stuff's cool but you know it's not practical uh like no synergies is practical and he's still really good without any synergies so that's what we're going to be talking about today and we'll also talk about those synergies because that it's still cool um but uh yeah so real quick here's his stats Overall, his stats are all right. The critical rating is a little low, and critical damage rating is also a little low. But once we uh, get our Furies going, it doesn't really matter too much. It makes up for it. The base attack is decent, and his health pool is pretty good. So now, as far as the synergies go, so far, we don't have Mr. Fantastic. So there could be something crazy when he comes out if you have like all four of them together. Uh, but right now, we don't have him, so I don't know. Right now, this first synergy is... That's, it's, all, it's all right, I guess. Uh, this one with Human Torch, it's good because it helps build up Furies faster, but it's not really needed. Uh, this Quark Synergy, it's all right. Uh, and the one with Hulk here, it's all right. But the, 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 the crazy synergy that lets him do the, all the insane damage videos that you guys have probably seen is the one here with the Champion, which we'll talk about when we get into some gameplay. But basically, you can just multiply your attack by so much if you die uh, with this synergy. So let's talk about his abilities and how he works. So first off, Something that just makes Thing so unique is his immunities. He has, uh, no one has this kit of immunity. No one, it, no no champion has it. You know, Ghost has a bunch of uh, pseudo immunities, basically where she can shrug off all kinds of damage or tiny buffs. But Thing, man, he's immune to armor break, armor shatter, nullify, stagger, fate seal. Uh, there's no other champ that's immune to that kind of stuff. There's Kabam has to put Mystic uh, Mystic Ward nodes that like make it a lower chance. But Thing is just straight up immune to nullify. He cannot be nullified. You can't take away this guy's buffs forcefully. You can't do it. You can't armor break him. You can't armor shatter him. Uh, it's just very unique, those immunities right there. And then he's also on top of all that, he's straight up immune to bleed and immune to shock. Which bleed, you know, that's nice. And shock, that's really nice because that's more of a niche... Uh, um, immunity because there's not a whole lot of champs that are immune to shock and we're seeing more and more shock so that's a really nice one there I like that uh, and on top of everything man thing is just he's a tank man he's he's a tank he can really take a hit and it's really safe to play him that's that's what I really like about him so real quick let's talk about his signature ability and this is one of the reasons why he is such a tank um, basically on a heavy attack uh, when you get stunned or if you're an opponent, it's going to hit you with an attack that, that, that does 300% more of their base attack. Uh, you trigger this protection shielding, essentially. And at SIG 200, I believe it's 80% damage reduction and plus 1% one, plus one percent for each rock stack on you. And you can have 20 rock stacks, so you can get it up to 100%. Uh, and it, it just makes you so tanky, man. And you can use this for other things, man. I, I recently tested... Uh, I, I used a heavy attack, triggered this protection shielding, and then I used my special too, uh, and I didn't take recoil damage. So you can bypass all kinds of stuff. Um, you can also bypass like suicides, like the damage from the poison. It reduces that damage, because right here it says it reduces all damage. So think of any kind of damage, you can reduce it with this protection shielding. And when your opponent is doing 300% more of their base attack, each hit, uh, it's going to be triggering this because after you trigger protection shielding, it goes on cooldown for 20 seconds. But the last way to activate it with if the opponent hits you and their attacks over 300% of their base attack, this trigger uh, ignores the ability cooldown. So that's really nice. So a re I don't, I'm not sure if you guys have seen it or not, but the thing is actually really good for fighting the 6.2 champion boss uh, because with all those furies, he hits so hard every hit triggers things protection shielding. So he's not taking damage. So it's really really cool, man. That's just one of the ways he's a tank. There's more ways. Uh, quickly to talk about his rock stacks, basically. How you get these and how, how you want to be playing is just parrying. Parrying. Each parry gives you five rock stacks. They cap out at 20. And yeah, just parry to get these up. Um, you always want to have at least 15 rock stacks. Uh, and if you can just have more than that, then that's good. 
Uh, you can get rock stacks removed by getting a bleed on yourself that removes them. So the passive rock stack, basically rock stacks last definitely up to 15. Any additional rock stacks last up to five seconds. Uh, rock stacks are capped at 20. Uh, for each rock stack, you increase your physical and energy resistance. Again, just adding to the tankiness. Uh, and then whenever a rock stack is removed, the duration expires. The thing gains a permanent passive fury, gaining 73 attack. These furies are capped at 60. So you can get 60 of these bad boys. That's over 4,000 plus attack, man. That's a lot of attack. And if you're parrying a lot, it's not too hard to get to 60 of these. Uh, and it's a huge damage increase. So that's awesome. So you can really... So basically what you want to do, we'll talk about in a sec, but that's why you want to parry a lot, keep up your rock stacks, because you can convert them into fury. Uh, and how you convert them is by using special attacks. So uh, if you have, if thing has 15 or more rock stacks, you removes all rock stacks and this attack is unblockable. And remember, when you're removing rock stacks, you just add them to fury if you're below 60. So you just keep stacking it up that way. Uh, so that's really great, man. And one other, one other thing to note here, when Thing is hit, if he has 15 or more rock stacks, he becomes unstoppable for 5 seconds and removes 3 rock stacks instead of generating any. So again, if you're at 15 rock stacks at all times, let's say you're at, you've got your Furies, you're at 60, you're at 15 rock stacks. If you mess up, if you take a hit, uh, one hit, if you're at 15, you're going to go unstoppable and then you can get away. So just adding to the level of tankiness, man, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and special attacks for the next eight seconds thing can nullify all unstoppable buffs when striking the opponent So that's cool kind of like a Captain America Infinity War ability where you can nullify unstoppables uh, After your special attacks and the special three so thing is unblockable and unstoppable for eight seconds one thing to note These are buffs not passives, which is gonna come that information is gonna come into handy towards the end of this video when I show you some absolutely insane thing gameplay uh, if Thing has 15 more rock stacks, he removes all rock stacks and gains a passive fury for 8 seconds, increasing his attack by 983, so that's nice. You want to use a special 3 when you have at least 15 rock stacks uh, to get this fury, but if you use it when you have 20 rock stacks, all his fury effects are 100% stronger for 8 seconds, uh, including the one that you get from the special 3. So you just you hit even harder, and remember, you're unblockable and unstoppable, so you can just go in on your opponent and remember you're a tank so you don't have to parry you don't have to worry about getting hit you're unstoppable they cannot be nullified so you don't have to worry about your opponent taking away your buffs you literally just go hard hit them as much as you can for eight seconds and you're hitting so hard it's, it's crazy again we're gonna we're gonna show this uh towards the end of the video so that's basically his abilities me talking about them and i know a lot of people don't like it when i talk too much so if you have trouble kind of learning through just someone reading abilities don't worry we're gonna get into some gameplay now and i'll just show me doing it so it's easier to see because yeah some people are visual learners I, I i have to read something a lot to really really get an idea of it but i'm much more of a visual learner and hands-on learner so um yeah like i said when you play thing man you want to parry so we got to keep on parrying uh got to get up to 15 rock stacks uh, then use a special, and then we uh, we start stacking up those passive furies. So that's pretty much how you want to play thing. Parry a lot. We're gonna parry this. There we go. And if we just let those 20 expire, there you'll see how the timer's running out. It'll go to 15. We'll get five rock stacks. Uh, if like, let's say I parry again right now, that timer's gonna reset. Uh, you see there. So w once you're at 20, you kind of want to let them expire on their own, and then they'll add to your passive fury. So uh, let's get up to a special three here. Let's get up to 20. Okay, there we go. Drop this. And like I said, we're going to be unblockable and unstoppable for the next eight seconds. So right after this, I'm just going to dash in. And as long as he doesn't throw a special, we're just going to be hit him, hit him hard, man. Just keep on hitting him. Uh, so yeah, roll him up in the burrito. And then we're just going to dash in and just start hitting him. So there, he threw a special, but I can just dash out because we're unstoppable. Um, but yeah, he's blocking. We don't care. We just keep on hitting him. As you can see, we're already at 30 of those passive furies. They're really easy to get, really easy to stack up. It's not too difficult. Uh, and man, like we're just we're just a tank, and now we're hitting harder. Thing, man, he just he has so much going on. It's really awesome. So right now we're at 20. We're gonna let those expire. Add five more to the stack. Now we're at 35. Awesome stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and evade that. So let's get to 20 here. And now let me show you guys something here. Let me let those expire actually. All right, so we're gonna parry. Watch my health now. I'm running suicides. Uh, parry, use that, drop this special too, I'm at 
and I go down to 95%, back up to 96%. So why did that happen? Because protection shielding negated the recoil damage right there, which is just so cool, man. That's just so cool that he can do that. Uh, and yeah, so now we're at 60 of those passive furies. You can see how hard we're hitting. Let's get up to a special three and really see what kind of damage we can do uh, with that extra fury and increasing our furies. And remember, guys, this is essentially, I guess we have the Korg synergy helping out a bit. But this is without using the champion synergy, not that, so we're not getting like crazy stuff. Okay, we're gonna parry, get to 20. Oh, I, I think I messed it up there. Uh, we got the unstoppable. But yeah, that unstoppable can really save you. So let's just drop this, get, get the fury from the special 3, and we'll go and keep on hitting him. And then I'll let him kill me, and I'll show you guys the champion synergy and just how crazy that is. Uh, I really want to get a 5 or 6 star champion now just for that thing synergy so I can bring it into act 6 man that'd be great uh, so yeah right here man like you can see like we don't have to worry man but once this unstoppable expires let's pretend we're hitting him into a combo uh, and I, I just mess up like I mess up right here he hits me oh I go unstoppable you know it's just like a safety net it's really nice so now we're gonna let him kill us it might take a little while uh, yeah, it might take a long while. Uh, the Heimdall synergy. So you bring, if you bring the Heimdall synergy as well, then basically what you can do is, uh, like, you're not gonna have enough room for the synergy team I brought for the most part normally. But if you do, uh, basically die once, then we're gonna get the passive, uns uh, the passive indestructible, and we're gonna get more furies. Uh, so here, we should die soon. Now, as many times as he hits us here, so that's two hits, two furies. Come on, buddy, hit me. Three, four, five hits, six hits. So now we got six of those passive furies. Each one of those increases our attack by like a hundred percent. So now we get the healing from the Heimdall synergy, and just look how hard we're hitting now. Uh, let me get a crit here. Seven K mediums for some crits. No crits. Come on, give me a crit thing. Like I said, his, his crit rate's a little low, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, you want a crit? There we go. Twenty K medium crit. Pretty nice there. Uh, that champion synergy and so the more times you get hit while you have that passive indestructible uh, just the more damage you're gonna get so if you get hit 12 times which I, I've gotten it up to 12 you have 12 of those passive furies each just giving you an insane amount of attack rating it, it, it's crazy man so now let's go into this next fight when we're low on health and let's just see how quickly we can kill this Captain Marvel because it'll be quick man it'll be it'll be really quick so let's go get against the wall real quick and just show it again. Okay, so we want to let her kill us, hit us as hopefully as many times as she can while we have the passive indestructible. Uh, and then we want to trigger our regen from the Heimdall synergy. Uh, and then if we if we do die, if we mess up again, then that's going to go ahead and trigger the Heimdall indestructible and unstoppable, so that's nice. Okay, so we got six more again, only six, that's all right. Let's uh, trigger the healing, and let's get off some parries. All right, let's let those go into passive furies, and then we're gonna parry again. Drop this, this will give us a, a buttload of attack, and then we'll just dash in and start hitting crazy hard. So let's roll her up in the ground burrito, man. The special three is hilarious, I like it. <laughs> there we go. And we're just gonna dash in and start doing damage. 21k medium there, very nice. And I'm just, I'm just gonna keep on hitting her. I, I'm not gonna bother parrying. I don't care, man. Just hit her as much as we can in this time. Just keep on smacking her up. All right, there we go. So you can see how much damage we did in that short amount of time. Really crazy stuff. Let's go ahead and get up our rock stacks. I'm just gonna parry. Gonna negate the recoil here with the shielding. Uh, <laughs> it's such a cool mechanic, man. That you can negate recoil and all kinds of stuff. And yeah, this Captain Marvel, man, she's almost dead. One more L2. Should do the trick. Let's go ahead and pop it. Boom! Oh, we didn't get a crit there. If it crits, it's, it's for like 100k. Alright, bait that out, and she's dead. This is good, because I'm farming a little bit of potions for uh, 6.2. So guys, I'm going to have one more piece of gameplay. I'll be right back with it. And trust me, don't go anywhere. It is insane. Alright guys, we're back, and we're in Act 6, Chapter 1, uh, Quest 6. This was one of the hardest fights in 6.1, just because I didn't know who to use at the time, 
and people said thing for it, but at the time I didn't have a thing. So I've been really wanting to get back in here and try a thing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the champion synergy because I wanted to do some crazy stuff with that, but honestly, we don't need it. I do have one synergy that's with Heimdall. I brought him along, first of all, in case we die. Second of all, though, it gives us a, a Fury buff. So we need three buffs for this node. So that'll give us one from the Fury and we're gonna get the other two from the special three because we get the unblockable and unstoppable for eight seconds. Remember, I said those are buffs, not passive. So that helps out a ton for the buffed up node. And it's just better for them to be buffs because the thing cannot get, uh, he cannot be staggered, he cannot be nullified. So we, it doesn't matter if they're buffs because it does matter. So pretty much the plan here is to build up to an L3, drop it, and just go hard, get in as much damage as we can. If I can build up any passive Furies before that, I'm gonna try. Uh, but you can see right now we're hitting for zeros, just zeros because we need three buffs. So right now we have the Fury from the Heimdall synergy. We can get Dexterity, but that doesn't last long and that still is only two. So yeah, we really need just to get to the L3. So I'm building up a couple passive Furies here from parrying. Like I showed you guys the strategy before, just parry, let the five expire, uh, and they'll keep on stacking up. So as you can see, we're already at 15. You can parry again, get us up to 20, and just keep getting that timer going. You can really just build up the rock stacks uh, fast, and you build the Fury fast. Right here, he threw a special two, but that's fine. We're a tank. So now I'm going to parry. I'm at 20 rock stacks, so we're going to get a lot of damage from the special three. Uh, and the special three is actually going to do damage because we, technically we've triggered uh, the buffs from it. So roll him up in the ground burrito. And after this, man, we're just going to go hard. Hit him as, as much as possible in those eight seconds and just, just go hard. And this is pretty much without any synergy except for the Heimdall little fury buff, which isn't doing that much. So as you can see, man, we're just going hard. Hitting him as much as possible. We don't care if he hits us. We're unstoppable. We're unblockable. Just keep giving it to him. And he goes down, dude. Just like that. No problem, things just dusting himself off, man. 47 hits. All it took was one L3 cycle. Didn't even need to get to the special three again. Just absolutely insane, man. I was like, wow. I am glad I got Thing. He's not just a defender. This guy's a beast. And after I did that fight, I'm like, yeah, it's time to make the Thing 101 guide. Um, it's time. It's time. Thing is just awesome, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to see what Mr. Fantastic synergy is, because if it makes things stronger, that's gonna be crazy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other questions about Thing. I'm pretty sure I covered all of his abilities. If there's anything you're curious about or if you want me to go into more detail in the comments, go ahead and drop it. I'll try to try to answer any questions you guys have. But that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If so, drop a like, share it with your alliance mates if they don't know how to use Thing offensively. Uh, and yeah, subscribe for more content to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. One final thing to note is I, I'm probably going to be using Thing for my Legends run uh, for that final champion boss. So that's, I can't wait to test them there. It's going to be sick, guys. But yeah, look out for that Legends run coming in like the next two weeks. Thing should do some help. Should, should help out. So thanks for watching. Peace out.